Hi, I'm Chelsea with the Kansas City Gardener. Have you ever noticed that certain plants of the same variety can behave very differently? Well, this year I have a fantastic example. I planted four green sweet potato vines on the top of a stone retaining wall next to my driveway. I was hoping for a spilling effect to soften the edge and add some color. I mistakenly bought two different varieties, so two of each plant. One variety was called Sweet Caroline Bewitched Green with Envy, and the other was Sweet Caroline Light Green. And this is what I got, all from four tiny plants. Anyway, I wanted to show you the difference in how these two varieties grow. If you look closely, you can see that the two I planted in the middle, right here, their leaves are larger and they're fuller and bulkier. These are the Sweet Caroline Bewitched Green with Envy. While it looks beautiful, it actually grew quite tall and it blocks a poor little boxwood behind it, so I end up having to come in and trim it every so often. However, this would be a great variety if I wanted a potato vine with a taller, bushy growth that still trails. The plants on either side of the middle, believe it or not, are more of what I was looking for. These are Sweet Caroline Light Green. I know it looks wild and overgrown and it's even climbing onto the deck, but I wanted something lush and trailing to break up the hard lines of the wooden deck and the stone wall without being too tall that it covered up the plants behind it. These vines are so vigorous that I actually have to come in and trim the sprawling growth about every other week just so I can walk by when I park my car here. Untrimmed, I measured one vine that was almost 10 feet long. In terms of how to succeed with these plants, I think I can attribute this vigorous growth to a few things. First of all, they receive full sun from about 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Second, sweet potato vines love being well watered. These are watered every single day on a regular schedule because they're hooked up to a drip irrigation system that also waters the pots on my front deck. Third, I fertilize them about every other week with a water-soluble fertilizer, which gives them plenty of food. Other than bi-weekly fertilizing and occasional trimming, I haven't touched these plants all summer long. I hope this video shows you that it's okay if something doesn't turn out quite the way you imagined, and that it's very interesting how different varieties of the same plant can grow so differently. Before we end, I want to show you one more sweet potato vine variety that does well in part sun. This is Sweet Caroline Raven, a beautiful purple sweet potato vine that's also very vigorous and adds a lushness and a rich color to these containers on my back deck. It only gets about three hours of full sun, followed by about an hour or two of filtered sun through the trees above. This is a great option for those of you who have part shade gardens, and it shows just how many different situations sweet potato vines can succeed in, including both containers and in-ground planting. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the Kansas City Gardener Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.